Off the road, please. Uh, we don't want to take any chances. Uh, <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. Especially the smallest one of the game. Get up here. So I want to say welcome and thank you to everybody for coming out today to help us celebrate. Um, we have representatives from the City of Grand Forks and we have members of the business community and those who contributed to building the homes. Uh, we have the volunteers who have been so instrumental in helping with the construction and um, there are Habitat board members here that can take a bow a little later on. Um, there are restaffs store staff and volunteers here and as you may or may not know the restores are instrumental in helping to raise funds to do our house building program. Um, most importantly we have the families here that are going to be moving into these homes. You'll be able to see them. They're wearing the green shirts, t-shirts. And uh, yeah orange. so <laughs> one orange. Yeah, one orange. <laughs> He's, he's special. He likes to, you know, stand out and uh, crowd. So, if I wanted to stand out, I probably would have to <laughs> So first off, yeah. Oh, is that? Oh, sorry. Hello. <laughs> come on, Brad. Brad, come on. <laughs> so, of course, it's I would like to uh, acknowledge the wonderful contribution that the city of Grand Forks has made uh, for many years. You know, without them, it would have not been possible to build the homes all down this street. You know, there's 15 families being served. You know, by Habitat uh, and the city of Grand Forks as our partner. So, you know, we've got four single-family homes two duplexes and a sevenplex. So that's pretty significant. You know, as they say, we were fighting above our weight, you know, in our weight class, because for a small community, we've actually done extraordinary here. So, um, I'm, I'm all for that. Can I get a seconder for that motion? <laughs> Second. Um, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> also, I'd like to give an acknowledgement to BC Housing, who has made a, a substantial financial contribution to building these homes. And they've been a long-term partner with uh, Habitat for Humanity. They've also done a funding of a number of the other homes down this street. So, you know, shout out to uh, to uh, which program BC is that housing. through the housing home? Uh, it's, uh, it's it's varied over the years. Uh, this most recent uh, round has been. Uh, uh, memorandum of understanding they did with the all the habitats in British Columbia, so that was very wonderful. Um, there's a very significant partnership for this project with the Ministry of Social Development and Poverty Reduction. We have Ann Jensen here from Nelson who's showing up. Great. Thank you also to Community Futures Boundary for their assistance with administering this program and helping to, you know, negotiate all the hurdles. <laughs> um, as you can understand, today is very much about giving thanks for the celebration of these homes being built. You know, that it's, it's, uh, it's humbling, you know, to see how many people have, who have stepped up and have made contributions, whether or not it's uh, financial, whether it's helping with construction, you know, whether it's helping with sourcing building materials, it's, it's been incredible, you know. So, you know, as I've said uh, before, it, it's kind of like that saying, it, it takes a, a, a whole village to build a house. You know, it's like one of the, one of the throwbacks to the way we used to do things. Um, the partner families have worked eagerly side by side with the volunteers, with the sponsors, and, you know, I, I applaud them for the 500 hours of sweat <coughs> equity that's what we call it for their participation in this program. So, you know, uh, kudos and congratulations. So, um, so <laughs> there's oh, still lots to come. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring the families forward. Drum roll. Okay. 
So you said you've done nothing? Well, I've literally done nothing. Here's your opportunity. We will get you to cut the oh, ribbon. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, why don't you share? Why don't you both yeah, yeah. share? Yeah. Thank you, good sir. Oh, oh. They're going to be neighbors. They're good at negotiating. It's, it's great. One operator at the top, other operator at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Bob. Just the. Oh, oh, you. Tashi. How about you no, turn you around? Everybody turn and face our. Thanks. Go try to cut it. Uh, okay. No. Put it up there. Okay. How about you coming through here now? Oh, I oh no. See. Oh, okay. I guess you can't come in yet. You have to cut the ribbon. It's my first ribbon cutting. <laughs> it's a magical barrier. There we go. So Habitat like calls it. this a transformational opportunity when we bring families into a partnership with Habitat for Humanity. You know, I think uh, people don't quite appreciate or fully understand, you know, how this long-term benefits uh, accrue. Uh, and the major one in my mind, and I always tell people who are donating, is it's the stability for children. It's the second generation benefits. And so we don't think about the parents when we're building these homes. Sorry, mom. And <laughs> it's, it's about the children. So, uh, and and Habitat has this model, families first. And so, in that, you know, children are also, you know, incredibly important to us. So, they become, you know, full participating members of the community. They stay in the same schools. They're not you know, moving around from neighborhood to neighborhood. So it's a wonderful thing. It, it's a little bit different in the bigger cities, but here, you know, they're, you know, they're going to be very much uh, part of the community now. So, so apart from that, I have. Nothing more to say, but uh, oh, can you say one thing? Yeah. Come on. Spencer <laughs> Tracy, one of our directors, and Eleanor Martins, the board chair for Habitat for Humanity. Okay. My nominee for volunteer of the decade. How many decades? Hi, so thanks for coming everyone. I just wanted to uh, mention one thing. Um, Bob mentioned that it takes a village to build a house and I truly support that. But I would add it takes a village plus one Bob Huff. It gets <laughs> I live just about a block and a half that way, and so travel has been quite a bit. And I work at Selkirk College, so I can, you know, I can keep an eye on Bob from my office. And it is really, um, it's just noteworthy how often I drive by here, eight at night or eight in the morning, and Bob's white truck is parked in front of one of these houses. And if it's not parked here, I'm pretty sure it's at the ReStore, also at eight in the morning or eight at night. And uh, so just, he's put in so many long hours to make, you know, this uh, possible. And I really am not sure what we're going to do without him. So I just think, Bob, thanks so much for all your hard work. And, uh, Thank you. And, uh, you know, it's amazing how many friends and, and colleagues I have now uh, who have embraced me and uh, welcomed me to this community. I've only been here a little over three years and I feel like I've been here for decades so thank you Spencer for that. I like to say something. <laughs> Come on. Thank you very much for the restart. We're doing phenomenal and all our volunteers. Uh, it's been a great joy for me. Uh, my new team members. I love them all. It's my happy place. <laughs> I seem to be on. Oh. Okay, Eleanor, our board chair would like to say something. I should just take my straight in. That'd be a bad one. When we go inside, the, the toilets are usable, the sinks, the taps not. They're tied up. Don't use them, please, because they just install them and they have to they have to, to set. Very important. Okay, that's it. Now we have. Come on, Ellen. Come on over here. We have Alan, who's also. We don't want to forget Alan. Yeah. <laughs> Alan has recently moved into the sevenplex, and he's there was a unit that became vacant in there, so he's also been very helpful doing his sweat equity hours here, helping to build. And so, the, the key ceremony would not be anything without the keychain for uh, the families for their keys. And uh, thank you. Right. Thank you. So we have some light refreshments inside. Uh, if anybody would like to walk around and take a look, I mean, I'd say we're 99.99% completed here. We've got a little bit of landscaping to do still, a little bit of second coat, a little bit of work inside the, the single family home, but the family will be in there 
uh, in the first week of October. So uh, Amber's family's moved in there, and uh, Alan, like I said, is moving next door. This unit, we uh, will be looking for another family. Uh, so that's that's you know in progress that 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 mission. So Andy's been very helpful. I can't. And then the gentleman from Rockwell, I mean, I, I've got to sign up, but it, uh, it's, you, you know, <laughs> long-term community partners. I, I could single out so many people here today, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, what can I say? You know, it's, it's been a community effort. So come on in, tour around the property, and we'll continue this. Thanks, Bob. Thank you.